What does Bitcoin mean for banks? Well first we need to understand what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is a purely digital currency and is the largest and most successful form of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are currencies in which methods of encryption are used to regulate and control it. Thus it is not controlled by one individual. Bitcoin is mined from things known as blocks, in which specially designed computers work on. There are now many companies that have large server rooms for mining Bitcoin. Bitcoin can be purchased from either online marketplaces or Bitcoin ATMs. Now the big difference between Bitcoin and banking is that Bitcoin uses a blockchain. This is where information is stored in blocks that record all transactions ever done through the network. Thus allowing for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, whereas banks act as a middleman within all of its transactions. So what does this mean for banks? Well people who use Bitcoin avoid taxation and many fees that banks apply with their many services. Thus as Bitcoin becomes more widely known and accepted as currency, the more business is lost by banks. As people will begin to see Bitcoin as a more favourable payment method. But presently there are many issues and concerns with Bitcoin. For the users, one is that if they lost or had their Bitcoin stolen, then there is no compensation. This is because no one actually controls it. The other fairly major issue is the instability in the value of Bitcoin, which varies a lot. The last is simply that many people still do not accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. So what if these issues were ironed out? What would banks have to do? Well banks would likely have to develop their own digital currency. But even then it is unlikely enough for the banks to remain in existence if Bitcoin were to reach its full potential.